if anyone tells you, we're undercover, okay? We're trying to find out who let Sunflora out of the dungeon, the rogue dungeon. I don't know who done it, but we need to be quiet. We need to sneak around. We are undercover agents, all right? If you see anyone, use code talk. Does that make sense? No, but I'm gonna roll with it anyway. <laughs> Especially Cinderace. I'm so, I don't trust that Pokemon. There's something about it. I don't know. But if you speak to it, use the code words, ha ha, you are weak to water. And they'll just run away at the absolute fear that the secret agency is after them. Hmm. Yes. Who is after Cinderace? It is Inteleon. That's what we're playing with today. This is a bit of a different list uh, than you usually would see or at least expect to see from an Inteleon deck. Um, Andrew Mahone actually uploaded a list, I believe today as well, on Inteleon, uh, which is kind of a, kind of ironic. He uploaded that list and it was more just, you know, your, your Frostmoth uh, variant and it's more about the, the snipe damage and all that jazz. This one's a little bit different, you see. This one likes to work around the Hydro Snipe attack, do a bit of slowing down, little bit of disruption and then do its max bullets so it's a manually attaching slow burning deck and um, but it's all aimed at slowing your opponent down as well and it's a greens list so i thought yeah let's do a greens and tell on that sounds just a bit wild we even have a uh, cryogonal in here just to absolutely enrage our opponent because we can why not <laughs> and yeah i'm actually super excited to see how this goes um, but of course before we go any further please check out the sponsor's message and uh, we'll get into a game boy are you looking for Pokemon codes? If so, please check out pdcgostore.com and use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. What a deal. They always have sales, of course, which is great uh, for when you're looking around and trying to snack some packs up to build that collection that you're looking for. If you do have the finances and you are able to do so, please do visit ptcgostore.com to grab yourself some codes. With that all said though, of course, please do enjoy the video. Okay, we are here, we are in a game. And um, just to provide a quick update, um, I've actually got my um, stream stuff sorted out. I've got a new overlay. I've got, <laughs> there was something happening in my stream where if you followed me on Twitch, it would pop up um, on the on the YouTube stream. Not only would it just pop up on the YouTube stream, but it would be something that would kind of pop up multiple times and just be all over the place and i've got it fixed up i've redone it up so tomorrow i'm streaming at 9 p.m shop and uh, you can see all the brand new stuff there and i will be launching memberships so if you guys want to become a member on the channel I'll show you support and some badges and stuff and get some custom emotes that i'm working on then that's the way to go, my friend. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually super excited to do that. And uh, that will all be tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Um, I'm looking at my screen and I see a bit of lag, but I'm going to roll with it and hope that it works out. Um, it's a bit of an issue with my encoder when it comes to recording, uh, sorry, rendering some sort of g the gameplay that I do on my, on my Bandicam software. Haven't figured it out yet, so I'm rolling with OBS for now. But Boy, I've got my Elgato Cam Link coming soon, so I'll be able to use the Sony A6000, which is a banging, mad camera. So you guys can have some nice, nice footage. I know a lot of you do say, don't worry about it. It's not that I'm worried. I'm just super excited um, to, like, up the quality. It's a, This is a passion of mine at the end of the day, and getting the best quality out is, is a goal of mine. It's something I want to do. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. Anyway, what are we up against? It's looking like it may be an ADP, uh, which, I mean... Sure, this would be a good test of the deck, so me no complain about that. I'm pretty all right with it. Um, all right, yeah, sure. Okay, so this is a greens list, um, which means, you know, uh, did I need to bench that? I don't think so, but we're going to bench stuff anyway. Um, yeah, which basically means that we're trying to slow our opponent down. I mean, to be fair, they haven't really got the ADP going with the energy attachment, so gives us a turn to kind of work on things a little bit. So let's poke again, see if we hit the greens. We do it indeed. Obviously, Marnie to slow our opponent down, get some top deck draw. I think that's pretty cool. Um, all right, let's see what greens is going to afford us here. I think, obviously, first things first, we need the incense. Um, we play switch craft and stuff because we're only playing water Pokemon. There's Gallimine to prevent the retreat and try and keep your opponent in the active for a little bit longer. Why well, should do your stuff and slow them down? We have Skylar in here. It's just a bit of a wild deck, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, right. So we want to get the Inteleon out. That's perfect. Um, and what else do we want to do here? I don't see them attacking us this turn. Maybe just go for the Crushing Hammer. You know, expect expect them to get that. 
Now, this, of, of, of course, as every deck is, there's always room for improvement. Um, I'm kind of considering whether or not we need two Capacious Buckets in the, in the list. It's more just to get the energy into hand if we're struggling. Um, but two? I'm not sure. Maybe just the one. We'll see. Um, right. What are, we, what are we doing here? What are we hitting into? Should we hit into... I think hitting into either of these isn't really that important. Okay, we're going to hit into the Jirachi, and there's a reason for that. If they retreat and we manage to pull off a... Um, is it Max Bullet, I believe? Where we can do 60 to bench, we can actually take this out with it. I was thinking it would be a two-shot on that anyway, and ideally, we want to gust this up and do 160 on it. So, yeah, that's definitely out of the question for spread. This would have been better, because believe it or not, 60 damage on that would be super relevant. Um, because, well, without the tool cards, such as Frying Pan and Goggles, 60 plus 160 is 220. So that's a perfect, a perfect number to hit. Um, so yeah, that would have been quite good as well. But this is an ADP Zacian, which is definitely, definitely interesting. But what we can do next turn, maybe I should have got the greens um, and anticipated this. Um, but I can greens, get myself like a great catcher um, and do some work. But to be fair... I think I'm thinking a bit too far ahead because I haven't got the whole three energy in play yet, um, which is something that we want to do. So maybe two capacious buckets is the way to go. But yeah, so we're not only exclusively going to be using the first attack that um, Intellion VMAX has. We're kind of using that to slow down our opponent, throw energy into their hand and stuff um, whilst we build up R1. Now, obviously, they have their own Zassian V to kind of build up over time, but we have healing and stuff like that to deal with it. Um, ouch! You can't be like that! I mean, that's cool. Weakness Guard energy for the Pikron matchups and the Toxtricity matchups. I've played a lot of Toxtricity in the ladder recently, so that's going to help, which is great. Um, and the good thing is, is it doesn't stop you from being able to pull off Max Bullet because it is water, water, colorless. So we can use this. I mean, there is a slight issue if you do start with this and you can't do the, the first attack. But, you know, the greens is there. It's, it's, it's definitely something to, to use. So, yeah, you know, like most decks I do, I really have thought about this and, and made sure every card in it has a, an intended purpose. All right. So, this is looking pretty solid from the start. Get another water energy in. We'll greens. We'll guarantee ourselves the incense here. Um, and probably, I think a Gala Mine would be kind of solid, you know? Oh, I mean, this is Jirachi. They're, they're probably playing Switch, right? Hmm. Or do we at least sort ourselves out a bit with, like, another greens or something? You know what I mean? I would like to reset that. May no, maybe a Marnie. Maybe a Marnie. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. We obviously need a draw supporter next turn. So, yeah, maybe we've got Marnie. I want to limit their hand. And we are limiting them anyway with this. So, that's perfectly fine. Let's get the Inteleon out and throw that energy back into the hand with Hydro Snipe. There we are. Sets us up nicely for the next turn. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty solid. So, they, as you know, as I said, of course, they can just charge up the, the Zacian, But we are preventing them from pulling off the auto creation, you know, in, in the time that they're looking to do it. And I think they may have realized that no matter what, if they just keep manually attaching, I can I can slow them down um, almost indefinitely. Yeah, so they've seen that. So that's why I didn't get the Gala Mine, because I expected that. Um, but I'm assuming they're going to try stick to stick to the bench now. I mean, do they have the energy switch? Is this one of them ones that tries to get an old, a turn one ultra creation? Well, I'm not really seeing much of those lists on the ladder. It's usually it's just, your, you know, your box standard AEP. I don't want to be doing 160 to this thing. <laughs> I really don't like that. I don't like that at all. But what I might do is at least try and prepare for taking out. No, that really does. We do need our tool scrapper here. Because so I was going to say maybe we could, you know, Marnie hopefully, you know, get a, a great catcher or something and then gust this up, take this out, put 60 on here to, to prep the KO. Although this this ADP with an extra with 60 damage on it does put it again in range. The, the numbers are really adding up with this deck, which I like. Um, 60 on this will bring him down to 160 HP, which allows us to get the one shot with Max Bullet anyway. And odds are they're going to want to come up with this. So, ah, it is the Energy Switch Alter Creation deck. Fair play, man. Fair play. Fair play. I'm telling you, that's fair play. All right. Okay. Now, it's annoying that we don't have any greens in hand here. Because it'd be nice to kind of prep, get some... Uh, 
some, uh, what's, what's my brain trying to say? Mallow and Lana. That would be kind of a good shout right now. Um, but maybe that's just me. No, it's not. That's a good, it's a good idea to have that card. <laughs> um, but hopefully if we, we money, we can hit some, um, crushing hammers, slow them down again. You know, we can still mill them down a little bit, which is good. So they can't pull off the ultimate ray attack so comfortably. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, hey, Bob's your uncle. There we go. And we hit it as well. We're going to do the water because we don't want them being able to reuse that. So, all right, we'll throw the weakness guard on there just because it allows us to attack. And I'd rather keep a water for another future Inteleon. We'll throw that Inteleon on there. There we go. Switch rafts. We've got the evolution. And we actually have the Mallow and Lana, which is great for next turn if we need it. Um, okay, I think this hand's pretty, pretty solid. So what we're going to do is, can we take out the Jirachi now? <laughs> do 160 take out Jirachi? Hmm. Do we get the prize? I think so. I, I would prefer to hit the Zacian to kind of work on that, but... This just slows it down. It, it makes it kind of pointless. It's only going to do 30 damage, and it really doesn't put it in range. So I think we're going to max bullet onto the Jirachi, take the prize. Sweet. Okay, okay. This is definitely quite a big brain. Now, this is good. Having this... Wow, this is sick. Okay, so... They're in a position where it looks like they're not attacking this turn, okay? Um, they, they, I'm sure they can maybe do some metal sources or something. Um... No, yeah, they can, but I still don't think it's an attack. Maybe they need like metal sources, attach, energy switch, and a switch to be able to pull off an attack with Zassi in this turn. But it looks like it ain't happening. Oh, I don't want to eat my words, though. Don't let me... Okay, Intrepid Sword. Sweet. So what we can do is put a ton of pressure on them right now. We can gust up the Dedene, hit 160, and 60 to the ADP take... Oh, that's game. Did we just get game on ADP like that? Are you serious? Okay. Sure thing. Max bullet. Boy, did we just do that? <laughs> Hello? Excuse me. We just absolutely wrecked them. <laughs> okay, that was sick. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm super happy with that. Wow. Okay. I I'm cool with that. Again, time is short, I'm afraid, so I can't get into another game. But if that doesn't represent the deck, what doesn't, right? So what does? English. Yeah, that's important, isn't it? Wow. I'm actually, I'm blown away by it. I don't know why I'm blown away by it, but it's, 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 wow. Okay, sweet. Right, I do want to quickly just add, I know the gameplay is short here. I do apologize for that. I am really tight on time, I'm afraid. But if you do want to see more of this deck, I will be playing it tomorrow at the stream again starts at 9 p.m so if you do want to see more of it come along tomorrow it will be there again sorry for the short gameplay here but i hope you understand the concept of the deck that's the main point of the video and uh, do enjoy it for yourselves if you do like it but um yeah let's let's go to that list shall we right yo this is the list as all lists are of course it is subject to change so if you feel like there's anything necessary to do here then by all means but lord this can definitely do some work as you just saw of course it's definitely tailored to play against adp slowing them down gusting them up when need be hitting such relevant numbers i mean we really put adp in range at that point was able to take out those dedenes being able to one shot them is great we can put zassian in range we can use tool scrapper to slow them um to, sorry to stop them from preventing the whole uh, numbers adding up of course galamine to prevent retreats from a lot of things a bit of a double-edged sword if you're coming up against Milotic just to add so maybe not go for three maybe reduce it maybe for a power plant or something to prevent uh, the Denny from doing its thing uh, might be a good idea um yeah I mean this deck is absolutely solid it slows your opponent down enough to allow you to charge up a max bullet and actually just go for it that way rather than relying on the frost moth way of doing it it, it is it necessary I, I you know it, it is it is a question to ask because you can just go with frost moth but it's very, very, very focused um, and allows you to access a lot of things, of course, through greens. There's still so many things you can do. I was thinking about putting the healing herbs in here, and I did have that in here. But it really was just taking up a lot of space. You can custom capture if you want to. But the likes of Great Capture and Boss's Orders really makes it not so necessary. You can still do it. Um, or you can you can throw any any sort of text that you feel might be necessary in this deck. One card I'm really thinking about a lot is Enerporter. You know, with the likes of Toxtricity running around, playing Speed Energy. Of course, Picarom playing Speed Energy. Dragon 
Acapult playing Horror Energy. You can use Ender Portal to move that energy around off them onto a Pokemon that, not, that they're not really going to use it with. So throwing like a Horror Energy onto a Malamar, Dragapult doesn't want that. Throwing a Speed Energy onto a Dedene, they don't want that. I mean, it's, they can use it, don't get me wrong, but... You know, they don't want that. Or throwing them onto an Oranguru. They don't want that. So an Ender Porter is something that's really in my mind right now. Because that seems like a, a little cheeky card you can throw in a deck like this. Uh, where you can really take advantage. Just a one-off. Because, of course, it's only two archetypes we're talking about here in a, in a, in a very vast format <laughs> as of current. Um, but, yeah, with that all said, of course, this is the list. Go try it out for yourself. You've seen it take out ADP quite easily. So uh, I think you'll definitely enjoy this one on the ladder. With that said, of course, though, do leave a like if you did enjoy and please subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.